Mary Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give our honor, our praises, our glory to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shah, by Hashem, Rakak Wadash, Yahweh, the Heavenly Father, who the Word only calls God, Yahweh Shah, the only begotten Son, who the Word only calls Jesus Christ. I would like to say the water, thank you to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shah, for the Rakak Wadash. The Rakak Wadash is the Holy Spirit, which is the driving force behind these lessons. I want to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well. Peace, blessing, grace, and safety goes out to all the Akim around the world. Preaching and teaching this word and truth and sincerity. Shalom to the hopeful elect. All right, it's the Ayu Call with a minute out of South Carolina account. Coming to do a real quick hitter, World War Three uh, update. Uh, it's not going to be long at all. Just seen this article. Wanted to uh, bring it out and bring up a couple precepts real quick. Just spark in my mind real quick. So uh, this is from RT. And it says, Russia will maximize arms production after they after treaty exit. All right, ex-president. It says, um, Russia will fill arms where it wants on its territory and step up its production of weapons after its withdrawal from the treaty on conventional armed forces in Europe. CFE with NATO, former Russian president Dmitry Medvedev, Medvedev has said. All right, so you got Russia. All right. Breaking the uh, breaking ties with the treaty that they once had with NATO, all right, and we uh, us brothers, all right, and the know know that NATO represents uh, what in the scriptures that that beast, all right, that beast with seven heads and ten horns, all right, that's um, <clears throat> that America sits on top of, okay, and uh, you can look that up. Uh, in different various lessons brothers have written into and gone into in uh, Revelation 13 in those chapters. All right. So Russia has uh, broke ties with that treaty that they had with the with the beast, man, with NATO. In the, all right. It says, Good riddance, Melody wrote on Telegram on Tuesday after the Russian parliament unanimously, unanimously supported the law allowing Moscow to denounce the agreement signed in 1990 by NATO and the Warsaw Pact countries, compromising the USSR and its allies in Eastern Europe. Um, it says the CFE limited the number of tanks, armored vehicles, artillery, helicopters, and aircraft allowed to be stationed in Europe in order to preserve parity and prevent the sides from amassing forces for a uh, blitzkrieg type off offensive. All right. So look now, Russia, okay, can make and have as many tanks, okay. What it says, um, so lucky. They can have as many. Uh, here you go. Tanks, armored vehicles, artillery, helicopters, and aircraft. Now they can have as many as they want in Europe, man. Now they can uh, mass produce whatever they want. All right, and this is just the signs of the time because that World War Three is brewing. So, of course, they're about to get their artillery up. All right. Um, it says, Medivy also vowed that Russia was now going to maximize the production of weapons, military equipment, and means of destruction. <laughs> all right, so what? They're getting ready for war, man. All right. And this is all uh, prophesied in the scriptures. All right. So let's grab a couple of pre's real quick. Not too long. It's Joel 3 and 9. Proclaim ye this among the Gentiles. Prepare war. Wake up the mighty man. Let all the men of war draw near. Let them come up. And we bring these scriptures out often because uh, that's what it is, man. The mighty men of war are drawing up. All right. They're preparing war. They're not making, assembling these things. Uh... Uh, having a mass production of weaponry for nothing. The Heavenly Father putting in their spirit to gear up for war. Joel 3 and 10. Beat your plowshares into swords and your pruning hooks into spears. Let the weak say I am strong. It said beat your plowshares and swords. So whatever Russia was the best at, whatever um, uh, uh, agriculture or technology, whatever thing they was the best at besides weaponry, all right, they're putting that to the side and focusing on weaponry, all right, armory. 
It says, and your pruning hooks into spears. Yeah, so everything that Russia was good at uh, doing or had um, abundance of or was, or was um, how can I describe it? Or was good, whatever they was good at, whatever they produced, whatever was their main source of resources, they're putting that to the side and focusing on weaponry, man. All right? And we are, like I said, the Heavenly Father is gearing this thing up. But uh, this was just a quick hitter, so I'm going to bring this out and just close it up. This Proverbs 21 and 1. The king's heart is in the hand of the Lord. As the rivers of water, he will turn it. He turneth it whithersoever he will. So the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, by Shem Shai, it has Esau gearing up. Has Esau ready for war. All right? Has these nations um, gathering their artillery. All right? The scriptures say the Heavenly Father... Uh, mustered the host of the battle, okay? And he created the uh, smith to create these weapons, roughly paraphrasing. But yeah, that was, um, just saw this article, wanted to bring a little bit out. Call Halal Yahweh by Shimei Shai. Shalom.